Today we are going to learn about abiotic and biotic factors. First of all, let's take a look at what these words mean. An abiotic factor is a non-living factor that can affect living organisms. They affect organisms in survival and reproduction. Some examples of abiotic factors are weather, temperature, and even a shadow. Can you think of any more examples of abiotic factors? Moving on. Now let's take a look at the meaning of a biotic factor. The meaning of biotic is living factors, or related factors to life. These indirectly and directly affect organisms' environment. Some biotic examples are disease, animals, plants, and even things that were once alive, but are now dead. Now that we know what biotic factors are, can you think of a few more examples of biotic factors? Now that we know the basics of abiotic and biotic factors, we will take a look at the role that they play in the environment. Abiotic factors and biotic factors put together create an ecosystem. An ecosystem is the interaction between a group of organisms with their environment. One role that biotic factors play in the ecosystem is that they recycle dead organisms through bacteria and fungi. Some roles that abiotic factors play in the ecosystem are firstly, they rely on biotic factors to grow. Also abiotic factors determine the growth of biotic factors. Finally, they determine the amount of organisms existing in a certain environment. So, I bet you were wondering how biotic and abiotic factors affect each other. Well, when you look into the big scheme of things, abiotic factors work with biotic factors to survive. They both affect each other, and without one, you cannot have the other. Looking at a few examples, a tree which is biotic will make shade which is abiotic, which affects the growth of a seed which is biotic. This is a positive example of how they affect each other, but not all are. A negative example of how abiotic and biotic factors affect each other is a tornado which is abiotic, will ruin a house which is also abiotic, and then affects the person's life which is biotic. That is all I have to tell you about abiotic and biotic factors for today. I hope you learned a lot about them, and so long for now.